Hey everybody, this is Dylan. Welcome to Man of Many Hats. Today we are going to be installing our Lux Bidet. So kicking it off, we'll start with going through our parts. This is the bidet itself. and It's got the hot and cold attachment there on the back. Here is the hot water valve and the hot water line. And they give you a little bit of thread tape for this whole shebang. And then your cold water supplies. All right, so the first thing you want to go ahead and do is turn the water off and flush the toilet to get all the water out of the tank for when you're taking off the valves. After that, you're going to jump over to the lid. It's usually a Phillips head. Start loosening those bolts up. On the bottom side, there will be a nut in the bottom left hand of this video. I show what mine looks like from my toilet, uh, but you're just going to go ahead and proceed and take those off. After that, you're going to clean under your toilet lid because it usually is disgusting and then you're gonna add this bidet on there uh, get that place back on there and we're not gonna worry about it being exact until we check out the front and make sure that gap is where we want it they say about a quarter of an inch but if you don't like where you're just shooting this is where you're gonna come to make the adjustment and then once you got where you like it go ahead and go to these bolts and finish tightening those ones up uh, so now once you got those all tightened up and you got that where you want it, you're going to go to the tank and loosen this up. It might be handy to have a little bucket there for the little bit of drop water that's going to drip out of there. And then you're going to put the valve with the gray handle on it. I should have taken a little bit closer up of this. That's my fault. I'm sorry about that. But I digress. After that, you're going to just continue to hook the bottom of that on. All right, and then you're going to grab this hose that they sent you, and you're going to connect that into the T-valve and then into the cold side of the bidet. And I wasn't really impressed with the quality of any of these hoses. Um, I would suggest probably going back to the store and getting some new hoses and making it all a little bit higher quality. That's what I did, but for the sake of the video, I installed what they had sent me. Um, so like I said, you're going to take that and put that into the cold. And if you're coming from, if you have one that has hot water and you're coming from a vanity, you're going to need to drill a hole in your vanity to route the water line. So we hop under the sink. I got my hole drilled. Um, for some reason, I skipped taking this off. I don't have the video of it, but this is the uh, valve that goes on there. So this white hose is the water line that they send. You're going to make sure you get that to your length. Cut it. Scissors work just fine. And then the brass ring that's on the end of that, you're going to take off, slip it over. Fits right in. Just like that. And then you're going to put that onto the valve. Make sure it goes on the stem. Push that right up. And then just tighten it on. Now when I was installing this, the T-valve, I did add an additional washer because I did not like the way it fit. Alright, once you get everything tightened up, then you can do it like I did and test it and spray yourself with water. And that's going to be about it, guys. Uh, thank you for watching, and if you have any suggestions for me to make my videos better, let me know. I'd be happy to hear it. Thanks. See you.